Okay, here's the other, here's another update. Um, basically, I've gotten all the systems that can go, except for the propane I'm struggling a little bit with. I've had three or four leaky fittings, so I guess I'm not flaring things properly. Um, I blame cheap Chinese equipment and inexperience, but, and very old copper that I bought from a box store, which was stupid. But anyways, I just wanted to give an update real quick. Um, got some hubcaps painted. I uh, got some plumbing taken care of, all the plumbing drains properly, the way it's supposed to. I made a drip pan. It's taking me a couple of seconds to turn this damn light on because I keep forgetting where I put my switch. There it is. Uh, there's a drip tray right there that uh, you see drains down into where the plumbing is down below. So um, when you put your, this is the bane of most RVs, they leak water when you're done with them and they will rot out the bottom floor and a lot of people don't think about it there's always about a cup or two water or you know maybe a cup tucked in there so um i made a drip tray so that uh you don't have to worry about it uh, leaking down in under the floor and rotting things out i wanted to make it as dry as possible put in uh, new flooring um, also started putting in uh, cork or not cork but uh, pegboard and hanging hooks. I also have a rack for the other side to go over the top of that area so there's more storage on that side so the cubbies have storage. You also have direct access. All of this stuff backs out. All the screws back out real easy so you can get direct access to the plumbing and electrical that's underneath there. And what else did we do? Oops. Put on the propane regulator on the front which that's actually correctly installed. So I put the propane regulator on and installed it. And ran the copper from there, all the way up. It's a direct shot all the way up through into the kitchen. I just wanted to show a quick shot of the little lanterns and this is a Sierra Scotty frame that I used, uh, and a lot of equipment from the inside of it is still from the Scotty. So in doing that, I decided to keep the emblems um, and all of the signia that came with it, and. Uh, Put it back on the camper because it is registered as a Sierra Scotty from 71, um, a Highlander. Uh, I put in um, canvas drop ceiling and also ran uh, molding, uh, painted molding down the side of it to cover the staples. Um, I'm not completely finished with it. You can see there's some on the end that are not, that's not completely finished, but I ran the canvas because I really, I like the canvas. I thought it was a great addition to it. I finally finished the lighting and created the shelves. Um, the chains are not up yet, but um, the shelves are up along with the lights. Uh, I made a door to hide the potty. Um, and I'm going to do a, a canvas um, cover for the front of it. I started closing in here after I finished the plumbing. Um, and that's all completely done and works wonderfully. Um, you can actually Everything works. It works wonderful. Even the hand pump works. <laughs> city water works. I plugged the city water in. Um, I bought some more of the same flooring and ran it over the bed area and then I put molding up all the way around um, there to kind of cover all of that up. Made a little headboard and a footboard. Um, and this is pretty. This is actually what's going to be down um, on this floor right here when I get done with it. Um, i got to put some lawn down and then I'll put it down there. Um, I finished the table, which is adorable. I have three more coats to put on it to make it uh, shiny lacquer like the uh, countertop, but I got that done, um, installed and level. Uh, I have a, a old tree limb that uh, I varnished that I'm going to use for a leg, so that's just a temporary leg right now just to get the measurement accurate. Um, what else? Uh, you can see where the propane is and the other leaky fitting that I have. I still have to figure out who I'm going to find to help me fix that, but... In the meantime, I've got that done. I'm going to leave this open until I get the propane finished, and then I'm going to... I have uh, Luan to run across the back, and then shelving, um, and enclosures and doors to make for this part of it. Uh, what else did I do? <clears throat> I think everything... Yeah, you pretty much have seen everything. The only other thing that I'm working on right now that's taking up a bulk of my time, I just started doing... Um, in my rotten little workshop that I have is I started framing for a uh, screen door. Um, I just started the preliminaries on it. Um, I bought a dowel jig from 
Harbor Freight, which, mind you, uh, I would never do again because it is off by uh, just under an eighth of an inch on all the lines. So I had to re-measure all the lines using a miter, and now that I've got that measured properly, they actually drill holes properly and line up properly like they're supposed to. Um, and now I can actually use it to, to build this. Because that's the bigger, that was my bigger problem. You know, was that I could not uh, drill holes to do doweling um, so that I could hide this because I, I didn't want to do, you know, the Craig jigs where you would see the screws. And they don't make moldings that cover every piece of this and, and the right width. So, you know, and I didn't want to add that extra weight and expense to the, to the camper as well. So, but that's kind of the deal. I, I made the screen frame for it. Um, this is actually going to be a pass-through like in a traditional RV and there'll be a little cute little cedar door that flips open for the pass-through um, so that you can open and close the other door um, and then the rest of this is all going to be screen and then there's a kick plate that's seated around the bottom of it um, to try and protect the bottom end of the door and keep the frame um, relatively square so, as square as I'm capable of which is hit or miss some days I don't know <laughs> I'm doing the best I can, I guess, with what I got. So that's where I'm at. I got my wand for the floor. And I'm just going to finish that up. And uh, that's the update, I guess. I haven't, uh, other than I need I need to get a hold of somebody who knows how to do copper flaring because I can't do it. It's obvious. I tested it and it leaks like sieve. All the fittings I did leak like a sieve except for one. So. I put feelers out. We'll see what happens. Hopefully I'll find somebody that can do that. In the meantime, I'm just going to keep plugging along until she's done. But here's my update. Thanks for tuning in.